In this video, I'm gonna show you how to label your projects and how to tag your photos and then how to filter them down. So on this desktop version, you just find the project you wanna be in. You'll see all those colorful labels. That's what we're going to change right here. This one already has 23 active and residential on it. Um, you could click the pencil to edit or add these. This is gonna be completely custom to your company. You create these. Um, so on here, I wanted to keep track of residential. Is it active in what year? So once I have those in there, I just click save. And now to use this, I would go back to the project page and I would just simply click filter. So now I can find my labels and I would be like, I want to see everything currently that I have that is residential. I click here and apply. Now all I'm going to see is the four that I have labeled as residential. On the mobile device, again, I open up my project I'm looking for. You'll see that the labels are the same. Um, and then how I filter down, um, again, you just click here, first of all, to add them um, or change them. But once I'm done with that, I can come to the project or the company feed. Um, I can click where it says company feed or at the bottom left, you can see the gray box. If you click there, you'll now have an entire feed of your projects and you can click the filter at the bottom right. And I can click labels. And this allows me to find what I'm looking for. I'm going to say I'm looking for residential, click save. And now all I'm going to see are the four projects that I have listed or labeled as um, residential. The next step I want to show you is the ability to tag photos. So we're back here on the desktop version. I open up the project I want to be in. And now with all these photos is I can come into them individually one by one. If I click on it, I can add a tag to it. Um, again, these are completely custom for you. So let's say this one is um, bath, save tag. I can also mass add tags. Um, if I go ahead and I click on the date and it will select everything under that date or I can choose the circle here at the top. And now I can click actions and then tag. This allows me to add exactly what I'm looking for. So let's say this one is now um, the uh, bathroom. We hit tag photos. And now the benefit of doing that is if I'm in here, let's go ahead and just refresh this page. And now let's say I have a lot of photos and I want to narrow it down quickly. You'll see on the desktop, all my tags in this project are right here. So now all I need to do is select the one that I'm looking for. Like I want to see everything that is tagged as bathroom. And then that's all I will see. And there's quite a few of them that were labeled as bathroom. So let's try a smaller one. And now there's just that one photo that's listed or tagged as bath. So then I can quickly send these or do whatever I need to do with them. It helped me narrow it down. On the mobile device, you can click where it says view all photos. You can open up an individual photo again to just tag it individually. And if you see that price tag, as I call it down at the bottom, um, you can choose to add one. This one already has the bathroom tag on it. I would just select what I'm looking for. Otherwise, I can uh, mass tag by again clicking this check mark here. I can choose individually. I can choose the date. And then I'm looking for this three dots down here. This is the menu button. I click there. I add tag. And now I can go ahead and I can choose what I'm looking for. Let's give these ones a different one. Save. And now if I wanted to filter them down on the uh, mobile device, I would just simply use the filter at that top right, which is a funnel. And again, I would find the tag option there. And then I'm like, I want to only see everything that I tagged as bathroom. Save. And now those are the only photos I'm going to see in here until I clear that filter out. Um, that is how you use tags and labels.